Jacko and Dominique have made the bold decision to build a tiny house on their little piece of paradise in Raglan. This is stunning, isn't it? Yep, this is yeah, this is our dream spot. It. Their plan is to sacrifice on size in order to achieve a high-end finish, which is a smart move on a small budget. But building on this scale comes with challenges, and although Jacko and Dom are nervous about the road ahead, they just can't wait to get started. This is our dream, and with the hard work, it'll be all the more worthwhile. We're really excited going to see the architect. I um, can't wait to meet him and see what ideas he's got, but... But yeah, we're, we're also very nervous as well because we haven't yeah. done something like this before and we, you know, we sort of understand how big a project this is going to be, so yeah. Excitement and nerves all rolled into one. Yeah. Today, Jacko and Don will be seeing their tiny house plans for the first time. They've given their Auckland architect a list of must-haves to include, but it will be a big ask for him to deliver on all of it. Here's hopefully a new little tiny house in Raglan. Wow. So this is the main floor plans we're looking at here. Yeah. So on the ground floor area here, we've got a living space with some built-in banquette seating around. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. So you can have storage underneath That's that. That's clever. Yeah. So we're mixing between housing and, and caravans and the like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Caravans are very good at how they reuse the space. Yeah, that multifunctional uh, rooms. Exactly, mm. yep. A little kind of kitchen area here. I like how the kitchen's there, because you can just look out onto mm. the deck. Yeah, that's something that we've um, really worked on, that to make sure that we connect the indoor and outdoor spaces. Yeah, every absolutely. Um, a little room for Lily, so she gets yeah. her own little bed, a little wardrobe here, and some space in that where she oh, can wow. kind of... Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting wardrobes and things in the tiny house. No. <laughs> so moving, incredible. moving through on the ground floor, back to a bathroom area here. Mm -hmm. Now the trick is, for the tiny houses, we maximise the space and the height as much as possible. So what we've got here is a ladder okay. that comes up to your kind of mezzanine, oh. kind of sleeping area. Oh, wow. we've got on there. And then you've got this upstairs deck here. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Is that a tiny house? <laughs> There's way more on this than what I was imagining. Yeah. <laughs> I'm blown away. So let's, let's go through your list. Yeah. <laughs> See how, how well we did. So uh, rooftop terrace, I think we can put a tick on that one. Yeah. Outdoor living and the outdoor shower. That yeah. was there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's on there too. That's amazing. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah, it truly, shock. truly is. Thank you. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> We're yeah. feeling blown away. Yeah. Truly, nice. truly, utterly blown away. I still can't visualise it being 25 square metres with all that included. Yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah, their excitement is infectious and I'm looking forward to hearing their comments back and, and how we can tweak it and make it better for them. The excitement is the excitement kind of just growing. Level, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, the design stage in any build is absolutely crucial, but even more so when you're creating a tiny house. Now, the process of working with a great architect may seem daunting, but not only can it be a really enjoyable experience, it can also alleviate so many potential costly issues during the build stage. Are you amazed that Tony managed to actually get that much accommodation in a tiny house? <laughs> I was expecting one bedroom, and that would be Lilia's bedroom. So we would still yeah. be ended up on the couch or with a, <laughs> some form of bedding in the living area. But to get two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a generous living space. That's quite that's amazing, right, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's designed for us. It's not going to be another tiny house like this, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> anywhere else. So it all sounds a bit too good to be true. Is, do you like every part of it, or is there anything that's jumped out that you're worried about? For us, storage is a big issue. There's no wall units. Yeah, it, there's the a lack of cupboards. Yeah, I mean, one of the problems with having such a beautiful section is that you want to get lots of nice views, which means you put in lots of windows, yeah. which means you haven't got wall space for storage. <laughs> yeah. So it's a double-edged sword, yeah. really. So you've got to prioritise certain things mm -hmm. and realise that you compromise on others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could get around it by obviously making the door smaller to the living area mm -hmm. and putting in some sort of slot picture window between your kitchen and the dining area and then having wall units at an upper level. But because it's only two metres, yeah, so you're not going to get a lot. You're going to get like enough for some wine yeah. glasses or something, and that's probably about it. Which is <laughs> Just hard. Very well, I was going to say it's hardly worth bothering <laughs> yeah, with, yeah. but then I changed my mind. I thought that <laughs> should be a priority. It. <laughs> it might make more sense to put the kitchen on the other side. It gives you more storage space, but it doesn't open out onto your deck. It's not that off the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the design stage is really exciting. Mm -hmm. The next stage, build. The building stuff. Are you ready? Are you prepared for this? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> are, are we excited? Are we ambitious? Are we going to get it done? I think so. But if it wasn't a journey when we're sitting there and it's all finished, it, you know, yeah. we, what's the point in doing it? What's the point in doing it? Yeah. I'm going to head back to the UK, but let's stay in touch. I'm intrigued to see how it's going to develop over the next few months. You'll be fine. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah. Often with a new design, it's a great idea to sit on the plans for a period of time to consider every element. For Dom and Jacko, a couple of months have allowed for this and the chance to make some much needed changes. So we're three or four months into the process now and a, a couple of big things have happened in our lives. Uh, Dominique is pregnant with our second child, so we've had to rethink the size of the tiny house. If we could just get Even out that much further. Yeah. It does mean that we've come up with a lot more ideas and maybe wanting to make a few more changes. That's Lily's bed there, so the bed's going to be wall to wall pretty much. Yeah. There's no room for her to play anywhere. Trying to find maybe more floor space. We've got box seating there, why don't we just have some more box seating? I just think it'd be also a really good way of having more storage. You know, I'm keep going on about storage all the time. Jacko and Dom have stretched themselves and the available site, but are ready with feedback for Tane to interpret into the final tiny house plans. Jacko and Dom have come back for some changes on the tiny house. We've changed the footprint now from 25 up to 35 square metres, and this has allowed some opportunities for additional storage, which is always needed in such a small building. The plans came out really well in the end. I think we've, we've got a really um, nice little house for them, and we can submit them to, to council the building consent. But in about six weeks' time, we should have Jacko on site there, swinging a hammer and getting his hands dirty for a change. Despite its tiny footprint, Jacko and Dom's project will undergo the exact same process as a bigger build, and all within six weeks. The subfloor and framing will go up, followed by the roof truss, defining the 35 square metre space. Next, the building will be wrapped, braced and clad in beautiful cedar. The roof is then installed, standing at an impressive 4.2 metres at the highest point. Inside, every single inch of space is utilised. Bunk beds will sleep the two kids, a compact bathroom, open and out to a surprisingly generous kitchen and living area. Upstairs, a mezzanine with ladder access forms the master bedroom, with its very own rooftop deck. And finally, large windows and doors make the most of their big views from their perfect tiny home. They say that uh, building a house is one of the most stressful things in your life, and um, definitely this is a pocket rocket stress situation where we've found ourselves in. Yeah. There's so much to do. A lot to learn as a well. A lot to learn, and we just hope that we have crossed the T's and dotted the I's because it's going to be go, a go, go. busy, busy couple of months. You know, it's plain to see that Jackson and Dominique realise that they're just at the very start of their journey. But what they do have is a really exciting and innovative design to work with. And personally, I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Wow! Massive! It's huge! It's so high! I think it's going to be Raglan's little skyscraper. Hey! <laughs> How's the lighting going to work? There's a big difference from what we thought it was on paper. It's freaking me out. It's getting back to work. If you're not happy, we have to stop that. Yeah. <laughs>